Tesla Cold here, and I'm out here with my truck and some stuff I'm working on here. I'm taking a break from my uh, study of radiant energy and such to uh, investigate Stan Myers. I've been uh, asked to investigate Stan Myers, so that's what I'm doing. And basically, this is my first step right here, and this is a device I'm working on. Let me sort of throw it together so you can see what the final product will look like here. And uh, you know, this will go on top like this. And then we'll have a lid here. Okay, now basically this is an ozone generator for my truck. And just going to pull air in through here using the vacuum of the uh, intake. And right here, you can see this is where it'll pull from. And in here, I have a couple of ozone generating plates with a couple of high voltage transformers. Now, these plates and transformers I got from a company called A2E, A2Z Ozone at A2ZOzone.com and uh, these transformers here sell for about I think it was 18 to 20 dollars a piece and uh, these plates here are about 15 dollars a piece and um, yeah they're really good these things are capable of producing uh, 3,500 milligrams of uh, ozone per hour, which is pretty good. They actually make a, a version that uh, can produce 8,000 milligrams of ozone per hour, which is uh, some pretty powerful stuff. Now, the, the ozone machine is a critical part of the Stan Meyer technology because you know, I know a lot of people focus on the fuel cell itself, but it's really a combination of multiple technologies, and most of the technologies are well proven, uh, ozone injection being one of them. Uh, it's it's pretty pretty well established fact that if you run ozone into an internal combustion engine, the increased reactivity of the O3 versus O O2. Uh, increases the uh, combustion and therefore you can run an engine more efficiently um, but uh, you know the next step once that is finished is to add the electrolysis array and this is sort of the design I'm looking at right here there's going to be o-rings in between these plates to uh, but the water is basically going to weave through the array and the plan is I'm going to create something similar to a carburation chamber on a small engine. I'm going to pump the water and the gas because I'm going to use a I'm going to use a pump. I'm going to pump pump the water through the array. Some of the water is going to be converted into gas. And then I'm going to spray out a high pressure nozzle into this chamber to diffuse the water. And, and this will also release the gas. So it's going to separate the gas out of the water, plus create a fine water mist. And I'm going to, you know. You know this, this water mist and, and gas is going to get sucked up into the line. It's going to mix with the ozone coming from the ozone generator and head down into the uh, throttle body here on my truck which uh, I haven't begun to work on just yet but basically I just send it down the hole and the the it should give me a, a greatly improved gas gas mileage because I'm combining basically I'm combining the ozone injection 
water vapor injection, which is also another well-proven technology for increasing mileage. It was uh, frequent, frequently used on bombers in World War II to improve their range. And then uh, finally, the hydrogen injection, which I know from personal experience, and I'm sure a lot of other people out there as well know that you can improve the mileage of a vehicle using uh, a, a water fuel cell. I've done it on several occasions myself. Haven't done it with this vehicle yet, but very soon I will. And uh, there's one last, or no, there actually, I, I take that back. There's a couple more elements involved in the Stanmeyer technology. Number one, he was using infrared radiation and subjecting this hydrogen gas to infrared radiation. And my theory is, is that this infrared radiation is breaking up the molecular hydrogen. Well, it's doing one of two things. Let me rephrase this. It's doing one of two things. It's either preventing the atomic hydrogen from recombining into molecular hydrogen or it's actually separating the molecular hydrogen into atomic hydrogen is what I, the reason I believe he used uh, infrared emitters uh, and passed the gas through it. Uh, perhaps that wasn't the best term to use. But, um, and then finally, and I, what I think is also one very important element is that um, he would recirculate exhaust gas from his engine back up into the intake. And uh, this is, I think, for a couple of reasons. Number one, the exhaust gas is going to contain uh, water vapor, which we've already established uh, uh, will inc improve fuel mileage. But also, when you have combustion in the presence of ozone, and there's nitrogen in the combustion, it, it can create a byproduct of nitrous oxide, uh, also known as laughing gas, or to the racing fans out there, NOS. You know, it's only in very minute amounts because the, the percentage of nitrogen in the ambient air is pretty small. But still, you know, even just trace amounts of nitrous oxide coming back into the intake, again, will likely improve power to some extent. So it's really, to really duplicate Stan Meyer's technology, you have to incorporate all these different facets. It's not just one, one element together. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's everything put together. And while I definitely think there's, there's more efficient means of electrolysis, you know, some, some, some ways of electrolysis are more efficient than others. I really think that the, the magic isn't just in the electrolysis or the array. It's, it's a combination of everything. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, show y'all what I'm, what I'm doing here, and hopefully I, I expect to make some rapid progress. Uh, this this um, ozone machine is just about ready to be installed. Let me show you what I'm doing over here Oops. and right here you can see a couple of mounting brackets that I've uh, put in the truck and this is going to sit in just about here um, you can see a control relay here that's not all I haven't got all the wires together just yet until I have it bolted in position but that'll sit there and uh, basically I, so I can control it with an external switch and of course the arrays will be right there and so when it's all installed I'm really cutting it close here I can see but when it's all installed it'll look something like that be a hose coming off the back heading towards the air intake so I expect to have it finished here within the next day or two and uh, let's see how it goes uh, one last thing I wanted to mention here um, this truck 
usually averages about 25 miles to the gallon. I've uh, tested its mileage in the past. I'm doing um, doing a mileage test on it right now. So the next time I fill the truck up, I'll know exactly what kind of mileage I'm getting again. Um, I'm hoping maybe that this ozone machine alone can give me a 20, 20% 20 increase in my fuel mileage. You know, we'll, we'll see. It'll all be quantitative and uh, so we'll have the numbers to uh, study the results but um, when it when it's all put together I can only imagine uh, what kind of mileage it could uh, cause a small engine like this this is a two liter engine four cylinder so uh, it should really get me some uh, extremely high efficiency if nothing else when it's all done but anyway I just wanted to throw that in